have joined uh, uh, EGAD, the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, the Arab League, the Organization of the Islamic Conference, and the African Union in endorsing the Somali-led Djibouti peace process. Can we turn the lights on? Is that all right? <laughs> we keep turning them off. And, thank you. That helped. Thank you. Um, I want to reiterate um, our support for that process today. I conveyed to uh, President Sheikh Sharif the very strong support that President Obama and I have, uh, both for the peace process and for his government. We believe that his government is the best hope we've had in quite some time for a return to stability and the possibility of progress in Somalia. A strengthened transitional federal government would have positive consequences, not just for Somalia, but for the region and the wider global community. It would contribute to greater regional stability and start to alleviate the growing refugee crisis afflicting Somalia's neighbors, especially Kenya, which is hosting nearly 300,000 Somali refugees today. President Sheikh Sharif's government has taken up the fight on behalf of the Somali people against al-Shabaab, a terrorist group with links to al-Qaeda and other foreign milit militant networks. Al-Shabaab and its allies lack regard for human rights, for women's rights, for education and health care and the progress of the Somali people. They see Somalia as a future haven for global terrorism. Just this week in Australia, we have been reminded that there are those who would use Somalia as a training ground for attacks around the world. Now, one knows better than uh, the President the challenges facing Somalia and his people. Millions of Somalis, roughly 40% of the population, are in need of humanitarian aid as they confront persistent conflict prolonged drought and periodic disease outbreaks. And the TFG's institutions, including the security sector, need not only reform but significant financial support so that the government can make real progress in delivering services for the Somali people. The United States and the international community must serve as an active partner in helping the TFG and the people of Somalia confront and ultimately move beyond the conflict and poverty that have gripped their country. The African Union mission in Somalia is playing an instrumental role in providing security and creating the space for TFG to operate in. And we're grateful for the bravery and commitment of the Amazon troops from Uganda and Burundi. The United States is proud to offer financial support, nearly $150 million over the past two years and additional funds in the coming months. We will also continue to provide equipment and training to the TFG, as well as humanitarian assistance to the Somali people where delivery is feasible and effective. We are asking other states in the region, particularly Arab states, to back the Djibouti process and the African Union and to follow through on pledges of financial support. In addition, it is long past time for Eritrea to cease and desist its support for al-Shabaab and to start being a, <clears throat> a productive rather than a destabilizing neighbor. I believe that the United States, Kenya, the entire region, and the global community have a stake in the success of President Sheikh Sharif's government. I particularly appreciated Sheikh Sharif's asking for help in returning children to school in medical supplies to reopen hospitals, in giving the people of Somalia who have suffered so much the services that they deserve. I look forward to continuing consultations with the President and to supporting the people of Somalia through this difficult time. Thank you very much.